Firstly, problem statement. The amount of carbon emission in Malaysia 2022 is 272.9 million metric tons, which is higher than previous years. Number 2. Trees are decreasing 33% every 20 years due to deforestation purposes such as housing estate construction projects. Number 3. The amount of waste disposal is more than 30,000 tons of municipal solid waste daily, which amounts to 1.17 kg of daily waste per capita. Second one is research objective. Number one, to reduce the rate of carbon emission 272.9 million metric tons in 2022 to 270 million metric tons in 2024 by planting more trees. Number two, to increase number of trees planted by community. Number 3. To reduce the amount of solid waste to 0.585 kg of waste daily per capita. Number 4. To take urgent action to combat climate change by increasing number of solar habitat users. Number 5. To support SDG or Sustainable Development Goals, we choose SDG 13, which is Climate Action. Proposed Solution number 1. To solve the problem of carbon emission, our group creates products that use carbon capture technology to reduce carbon emission in the air. Number 2. We create products that can be used for planting. This is to overcome the problem of too many trees being cut down. Number 3. We use recycled items such as plastic bottles and boxes to create this product. This is to reduce the waste that is thrown away. There are several sketches that our group has sketched. We choose the most suitable and interesting sketches for our products. Firstly, we use the electric fan to make a model of the carbon capture technology. Secondly, we use straw and rope to make a water reservoir system model. We use solar panel to convert sunlight into high energy. Next, we created control screen to check soil and water. Solar light will light up at night and the electricity will obtain from the solar panel. This is Solar Habitat. Solar Habitat is for planting. First, the electric fans will absorb carbon dioxide gas. Then, the plastic tube will release oxygen gas. Next, the sunlight will help solar panel to produce electricity. The solar panel will supply electricity for electric fans and solar lamps. Next, solar lamp will light up at night to replace sunlight. You must be wondering where all the plants get the water source from. Easy, actually, we use a water reservoir system as a water source for plants. There is a funnel for the user to fill in the water reservoir. All you have to do is to fill the water reservoir with water until it is full. See, this is how it works. Remember, you need to fill the water reservoir until it is full. Disclaimer, for the demonstration, we only fill the water in a small amount. Next, look at this situation. <gasps> I forgot to water my plants. Don't worry, we got you. Just press the start watering button. Then, the water will automatically absorb into the soil. You can also check the soil condition and water reservoir level. Just press the check button and the information will appear in the apps. It is also will appear in the control screen for your information. Next, Soil Habitat is trusted able to be competitive in the market. This is after several research have been done. 
This product has gone through several tests and validation. Next, cost effectiveness. After doing some research, our group has made a decision. Solar Havotech will be sold at a cheap and affordable price, which is priced in the range of 50 to 60 ringgit. This is because Solar Havotech is built using recycled materials. We believe that with this reasonable price, many customers will buy Solar Havotech. At once, it can bring profit to the Solar Havotech company and benefit to the consumers and the environment.